Hey guys, John here from AccessoryGeeks.com. What I'm gonna show you today is how to root the Samsung Epic from Sprint. So uh, before I get started, I wanna give credit to SDXDevelopers.com. Uh, they're the ones providing us with uh, the links and the instructions on how to root on the Samsung Epic. I'm gonna use this Moot Nublins, I believe that's how it's pronounced, Windows script. I uh, think this only works on Windows, obviously Windows script, but um, once you click on there, It'll take you to this site. And um, from what I've heard, uh, his drivers on here are outdated. So there's actually um, an updated 32-bit um, driver. Uh, you can usually can just Google that. Um, I'll see if I can put that in um, our descriptions. But uh, once you get that, you're gonna download this um, root file at the top. And you're gonna go ahead and um, proceed with um, the um, the process. So I already installed the driver. So um, before I put the phone into a debugging mode, I'm going to um, connect it to the phone. So or connect it to the computer. So um, the computer can recognize the Samsung Epic. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And that's usually what you're gonna see as soon as you install it. Oops, installed and ready to use. That's uh, that's good news. Okay, so let's see if anything else pops up. Uh, no, okay. So now, following this step, I'm gonna put the phone into debugging mode. To do so, you're going to, whoop, don't blink on me. Okay, there, here, we're gonna go to settings applications sorry for the glare i know it's it's terrible there we go development i'm going to put us debugging on and the stay awake on oh attention usb is connected remove the cable huh. okay let's remove the cable hit okay turn that back on hit okay exit Exit. Exit. Okay, let's plug the cable back in. Doing this one handed, guys. Sorry. There we go. Now it's being connected. There we go. Those are the little windows that popped up as soon as I did that. So, put the phone in debugging mode, installed the, or installed the drivers, um, plugged in the phone, did the whole process, and then put the phone in debugging mode, where it then asked me to unplug the phone, and then um, after that, I plugged it back in and I got these messages. So, let's go ahead and open up the script and get started. So, I'm gonna go into my computers where I have it saved, after I extract it, local drive, I put it under epics. One click, actually no, I put it under this one. There we go. Let me zoom in. One click root exploit. We're gonna scroll down. And the instructions say to run this one. So let's run it, see what happens. It says that the exploit and busy box made by Joey Crin and one click installer made by Nublin. Plus any key to continue. And we're getting device not found. That is not good. Okay guys, um, to pick up where we left off earlier, I know you saw the device not found. Um, the only step that I took um, in fixing that was I unplugged the phone from the USB cable or from the micro USB and then I plugged it back in and I ran the same exact um, process of hitting this run and then instead of the device not found it actually completed all these steps. Um, it took a little while but once the steps were completed it eventually resumed or concluded here where it says press any 
key to reboot the phone, press any key to continue. So I'm going to go ahead and press the space bar and see where we go. And the phone got rebooted. Or it shut off, hopefully. It, there it goes. It's rebooting. Again, I apologize for the, um, the split in uh, the video. Um, like I said, when we at first, up until the point where it says device not found, um, the only fix that I did was I unplugged the micro USB from the phone and I replugged it back in and it um, actually recognized the phone the second time around. So I'm assuming that after you install the driver and you have the USB debugging mode set, um, unplug the phone and then plug it back in just to make sure that the computer recognizes the phone. So there we go. USB connected. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if this phone is in fact rooted. And we're running a Launcher Pro on this, so it might look a little different to some. Mm, let's see. And I know I should be looking for the super user icon. So let me do this. Um, there's a program called Titan or Titanium Backup that's only um, accessible through rooted Android phones. So let's go ahead and find it. Titanium backup. Okay, sorry if it's blurry again. There it goes. We're gonna install. It's a storage, sure. So now we're waiting for it to be installed. I'm gonna set this down. And let's see if it finished. Whoop. Okay, it's still installing, so give me a quick second. And obviously it says right there it needs a root um, to run. So let's go ahead and open it and see if we get the super user access. It says, um, welcome, before making backups, I recommend this. So hit OK. And it looks like it ran, so it looks like we have super user access on the Samsung Epic. Let me go ahead and go home and see if the icon pops up in the applications window. And let me see. Sorry guys, we're kind of new to this. So um, I know in the Fascinate, when I ran the actual program, it showed the super user. Um, let me see if I can just get this up again. Backup schedules. Uh, for some odd reason, it doesn't show the super user, but um, it's jailbroken. So that's going to conclude how to jailbreak the, or not jailbreak, I'm sorry, how to um, root the Samsung Fascinate or the Samsung Epic. Wow, I'm messing up today. But um, yeah, so I'll have more of the descriptions or the instructions on our description. Um, please subscribe to our channel if you like um, seeing videos like this or you know if you need any um, demos of uh, any other phones um, rooting or whatnot. But you know, great um, steps. Again, I have to thank SDX developers. Um, this is John from AccessoryGeeks.com reminding you, you got it from a geek.